Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolakia and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Philippines slammed by a strong typhoon Kamuri. The Philippines has evacuated two lake people in coastal and mountainous area due to fear of flooding and landslides and prepared to close the country's main international airport as a powerful typhoon made landfall. Kamuri made landfall near the city of Gabat on Monday evening local time and has continued to strengthen. The storm has clocked maximum sustained winds near 215 km per hour according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, making it a Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane scale. The eye of the typhoon, known locally as Tisoy, was set to move directly over Lekpazi city in the next few hours, bringing damaging winds and torrential rainfall which could lead to devastating mudslides. The typhoon will trek across the central Philippines and southern Luxon over the next 24 hours before emerging into the South China Sea early Wednesday morning. Kamuri is still strengthening and is already bringing rain to the eastern island of the central Philippines, an area known as the Baikal Peninsula along with the island of Samar. The city of Vairak lies around the bay in the south of the island Catandios and is vulnerable to the force of the expected 200 km per hour winds. Such a wind may build up a strong surge, a wall of water, possibly as high as 3 meters. Evacuations were ordered for low-lying parts of the island and the neighboring Cameroon Sur, a province in Baikal. Authorities in the Albay province, where Lexpi city is situated, began evacuating 1 lakh people in anticipation of the storm, according to the government-run Philippines news agency. Tropical cyclone warning signal number 3 out of the country's domestic fire level scale has been raised by authorities in several parts of the Philippines, while signal number 2 has been raised in Metro Manila. Kamori forced schools across the region to close Monday, according to officials. Philippines based airline Cebu Pacific has cancelled a number of flights. While December sees fewer typhoon in the western Pacific, the waters around the Philippines stay warm enough to support typhoons in any month of the year. Peak strength is forecast to occur late on Monday night. At that time, Kamori will be almost over the top of the city of Legaspi with winds in excess of 200 km per hour. Landslides are the usual risk in such conditions. Rainfall totals during the typhoon's passage could be up to 420 mm as far north as the Kagyan Valley in Luzon. More typically, 300 mm is forecast. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dulakya. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.